Okay. Hey guys. We are back. What are we on? Number 39? Number episode 39. number 39. Yeah. So exciting stuff. Yeah. Hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday break. I was just telling Meg that I'm having a hard time coming out of my <laughs> holiday break. I just want to stay on break forevermore. It was so, nice. It was it's really nice. nice. It was really nice. But it's also always good to get back into the groove of things, too. Yeah, I feel like my kids do much better on the schedule. Mm -hmm. Mine do, for sure. Routine, so, yeah. here we go. So, all right. Okay, welcome back to Call to Homeschool. Episode number 39. Yeah. It's exciting and fun, and we love, like, all the nice comments. I was looking. We had a ton of nice reviews and yeah, likes and shares. Awesome. So, thank you guys so much. So we're going to talk today about something really fun. Yeah. This is Megan's um, membership that she's created on her website. Yeah. Tell me the name of it. It's called Mama's Members because okay. I'm the hippie mama, yes. right? And yes. so everything is always Ask Mama, Minute with Mama, but it's the Mama's Members. And I just really wanted something that could help people but not be super expensive. Mm -hmm. And so, because it does, like, it takes up my time, right? I have to, right, right? Of like, so I do need to charge, but um, I wanted it as affordable as possible. Yeah, definitely. So she's a life coach. We've talked about that a few times. And um, what made you want to become one of those? Yeah, so uh, just, you go through different experiences in life, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, didn't have the picture perfect childhood that yeah. it was just it came with some, some bumps and didn't really understand how to navigate life and I'd gone to therapy and I had some beautiful therapists that were super helpful and I'd gone for years and I wasn't progressing after a certain point yeah and um so I found a life coach and he was like tell me the hardest thing or the worst thing that's ever happened to you and I was like oh I have such a good story this is gonna be a good one and I just kind of questioned it. it was like, okay, great, that happened 15 years ago. Why is it a problem today? And I was like, oh, well, I don't know. And he just kind of questioned the way I thought and the way I viewed things. And um, he just kind of helped me move past some of those hurdles that were stuck in my path. And um, so I loved it so much that I decided that I wanted to turn around and help other people as well. That's so awesome. So now you focus your life coaching on homeschooling and homeschooling yeah. parents. So what brought you to that? Um, honestly, it was a spiritual decision. Mm -hmm. I just, like a lot of you who've prayed and just get an answer, like I should be homeschooling. Like this mm -hmm. is kind of this answer. And so as I prayed, kind of what direction, who should I be helping? I got a very clear answer that it was homeschool families. And because uh, I was thinking just moms in general. Right. But there's a different element with homeschool because you're with them day in and day out. Mm -hmm. And so there is a big difference, right? Yeah, there definitely is. And um, and I there's some amazing teachers and Charlotte Mason, who we mm -hmm. both love, and um, she was so great. And some of these other amazing teachers were so good, but they never had to live it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So Charlotte Mason, we've talked about her. She was an educator in the 1800s. And I think she did nanny. Yeah, but I don't think she was a mom. She was never a no, parent. No, she was never a parent. Right. And so there's a difference of like, yes, I can do this for a couple hours versus I do this for 24 hours, right? Um, seven days a week. And so I, I love her philosophy, so don't think that I'm dissing her. Right, no, I know. That. But there's a different element when it's your kids, you're in the thick of it, and I've been in the trenches, mm -hmm. and I understand what it's like, because there are even cute people who are like, homeschooling's really great, I could never do it, but <laughs> you should. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to be like, no, I understand. Not only do I homeschool like one child, I homeschooled seven, you know, and just yeah. being in those trenches and understanding struggles, fears, and having walked the walk. Mm -hmm. So in your membership, um, tell us what's in there and what you're doing for homeschool moms. Okay, so what I did is I, I broke it apart into four different sections. So a kind of a video series. Um, and the first one's all about you. And it's kind of igniting your own greatness and seeing like you have this amazing potential um, kind of learning how to solve any problems because they're going to be problems mm -hmm. um, at every age whether it's two or 18 everything in between your kids are going to go through things and knowing how to navigate it not to take things personally stuff yeah. like that then the next one series is it kind of it's all about them and it's learning how to connect with the kid oh, that's great. because if you can't connect with them you can't teach them mm -hmm. it's so much easier like when you have a good relationship with somebody just like, hey, I think we should study this. And it's like, I don't really want to, but I love you and I understand. Mm -hmm. And so, and I even think too, especially with teens, and our teens have had different struggles. 
and that they're coming to us or talking to us and it's this open line of communication like hey mom i struggle with dot 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 and but there's um i know it's safe to tell you mm -hmm. you're not gonna yell at me scream at me break down in tears like oh i failed everybody <laughs> you know and so kind of really figuring out how to build that deep excuse me that deep connection then we build upon that and the next one is all about the family so you're with your family all the time when you homeschool and so if you don't like you have to treat it like a business basically yeah. And so if you think of a major corporation, you have to know how to make it run. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a squeaky wheel, you got to fix it. And if you don't know how to fix it, like, it's it's harder, right? Yeah, when there's definitely. chaos and all those things. You've got to have a system. Yes. And so, and just building upon that, but and from a place of not control, not like, you're an idiot, I'm brilliant. <laughs> what I say is right and whatever you say is wrong, but also teaching them how to solve their own problems. Mm -hmm. So all those kinds of fun things. And then the last part, finally homeschool, right? Um, I don't start with homeschool because some, you just jump into it and learn these things along the way, mm -hmm. right? And so, but kind of talking about um, curriculum, um, if you have a kid who hates a subject or is really struggling, ways to overcome those hurdles. Yeah. So, and I will share like exactly how I do things. Um, I was coaching a lady this last week who said, you keep saying like making your homeschool a part of your life, but like how? And I was like, oh, okay, let me teach you, you know? And so like all those awesome things that will be in there. Everything it's, like that. it's interesting, you know, it's one of those things that you've done for so many years uh -huh. that sometimes you forget the little step-by-steps to get to the point where you are. And so she does an amazing job of, you know, kind of helping with those little details like that, you know, yeah. how to make it a part of your culture, your home culture is different than just homeschooling. It really is a different beast mm -hmm. because when I was talking, uh, thinking at the very beginning, like, is this just for families or is it for homeschool families? Um, and so there's a different way you can structure your family when you're homeschooled versus like, hey, everybody's out the door by 7.30 in the mm -hmm. morning. And we're like, oh, we're waking up at 7.30 right. in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, there's just a different culture. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. just knowing how to navigate it. And so I actually had a lady reach out to me one time who homeschools for a few years and she just wanted to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. She, I don't know exactly what she was doing, like a help book or something like that. Oh, okay. But she was like, what's the hardest part about homeschooling now? And I go, well, I'm kind of past that point, right? Like, mm -hmm. not that problems don't arise, but I know how to solve them all. Right. And so, yeah. like, my oldest is graduating this year. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at college classes, and he's doing all these things, and it's just, and um, the counselor had made a mistake, and he has to take one more class. And it's not like the end of the world. It's like, okay, you got to take one more class. And he's like, ah, that stinks. But, okay, like, I yeah. know how to solve it. We roll with it. We yeah. know how to roll with it. Um, so it's really exciting, but what I'm most excited about is um, I will do, once it grows, I'll offer group coaching, mm -hmm. but most coaches like just start doing the group coaching and they don't do the one-on-one -on -one anymore, mm -hmm. but I love the one-on-one -on -one because sometimes things are so personal Definitely. and so private and it's like, hey, my kid has same-sex uh, attraction, mm -hmm. my kid has pornography issues, mm -hmm. my kid is hurting themselves, or like my husband drives me bonkers and you don't want to, want to share that. that in a group. Right, and so um, it, it's uh, just a great safe place that with every, everybody in my membership can have these one-on-one -on -one sessions. Yeah. And so I just have That's little nice. spots that you can go click on there, or if you just have a quick question, you can type it anonymously. Mm. So you're like, I don't even, I have a question, I don't even want you, want you to know it was from me. Mm -hmm. And so you can just type it in anonymously and say, hey, I'm struggling with this, what would you recommend? Type That's stuff. awesome. That's really great. So yeah. Really individualized help for people. Yeah. That's my, I just love it. I love being able, because um, some people will message on Instagram or something, but then nobody else sees the answer. Mm -hmm. But other people are asking all the same questions. Mm -hmm. That's so and true. And so I don't see who asks it, so it can stay completely anonymous. So if you're like, people, and this is real, like, I don't like my kid. Mm -hmm. But you're like, I don't want you to see my face when I say yeah. that, you yeah. know? And so just like, okay, let's work there. That's fantastic. We can start there. It's okay. Nobody yeah, said. That's beautiful. You just automatically like your kid. <laughs> <I> no. <know. laughs> that can take time sometimes. And there are some hard kids. Yeah. 
So tell us about the format of your membership. Is it a video course? So it's a little bit of both. Okay. So there are the videos that you'll just have unlimited access to, and then you can ask questions and um, then sign up for the individual coaching. Okay. All right. So how many videos do you have in there? What's your... So module one, and that's all about you. That's all done. These I... are the, one, the topics you already went through. Uh -huh. yeah. So there are the four modules, and module one and two are done. So that's all about you, mm -hmm. and then all about your kids. And then the family one, um, now a video will be released every month. Okay. So the very first video was released in January, February, the mm -hmm. next one will come out until that's all done. And then um, they will, the last, I'm sorry, we are recording on our phones and I'm getting bombarded with text at the same time. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I need to, I'll turn on, on airplane mode in just a second, but. <laughs> Megan's getting distracted. I am. <laughs> and then the last one with the homeschool, then that will be each month. Um, Okay. Did I answer that yeah. question? Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes that. sense. That's awesome. That's a great uh, resource for people. Yeah, I'm just like you get, and I'm sure you get this too, you start getting asked all the same mm -hmm. questions. Yeah. And uh, it's really cute whether I'm coaching a new homeschooler, um, they all ask the same questions, mm -hmm. or someone who's been homeschooling a few years and it's like, uh, we're struggling. Like they start asking the same questions. And so. Yeah. It's just, it's a really great resource for, for the videos because that may answer your questions or if you want the one-on-one -on -one and saying, okay, that's great, but here's my situation. Mm -hmm. And then I love being able to kind of guide them and say, okay, here it is. It was cute. The one girl I coached this week, we talked about getting out the conveyor belt mm -hmm. and she was, she called it treadmill thinking. Oh and yeah, I, thought, I like yeah, that. She goes, is that treadmill thinking? And I go, oh, it totally is. We call it the conveyor belt, but yeah. treadmill, I thought that was cute. Yeah, it's the same concept. That's great. Yeah. So, um... How does someone purchase this? Okay, so I have a new website and I actually paid somebody so it looks good. I just don't have <laughs> that gift. Like, I, okay. I have to hire I'm out either. things when they get designed. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it looks like I let my four-year-old design this. I don't know, four-year-old, two-year-old. Um, <laughs> so my new website is coachmegthomas.com. Um, I think if you do the hippiemama.org, it'll just get is it redirect. redirect? Yeah. yeah, so you can get to either one. And you'll just, you can click, like I think it says right there on the very front page, you can do Mama's Members. Um, and for the first 100 people, guess what I'm doing? I'm doing lifetime membership. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really So awesome. the first 100 people get lifetime membership for 100 bucks. Wow. That's an amazing deal. I know, isn't that so awesome? Seriously. I just thought, like homeschool moms, a lot of times have a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. um, they a lot of times aren't working, so you don't have two incomes. And so I don't want to break the bank from right. somebody. And a hundred bucks, like, is totally doable. Definitely. And then after the hundred people, it'll go to a subscription to okay. either monthly or yearly. Okay. But the price will That's increase great. after the first one hundred people. So I really am tracking. So I really know how many. <laughs> That's good. So it's not like, oh, I think we're close. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. That's an amazing deal for everybody. Yeah, it's a ton of fun, and it's so fun. I think what I've loved is some of the people I've coached, like our new homeschoolers, middle mm -hmm. homeschoolers, but there's another demographic of people who tried homeschooling in the past and had a meltdown. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've one, met those too. Yeah. yeah. But like, one cute lady and um, had severe anxiety, and just like, how do I do this again? Mm -hmm. Like, it didn't, and it didn't go well the first time. And so those are real legitimate fears. Definitely. Like, I tried this, and it was terrible. But I feel such a call from heaven that I need to bring my babies home. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really fun to That's be able to. That's a hard, to... tricky spot to be in when it's been so hard in the past, but you really feel called to do it. And yeah. So, and what a great resource you can be. Well, and it's good. fun, too, because we have, I, even do, I do have working moms as well. And like, how do I navigate that? Mm -hmm. So just like all the questions that come up and you're like, I would love somebody who's been homeschooling for a hundred years with kids in every age group <laughs> yeah, yeah. to kind of like, how do I figure this out? And then teach you how to do it. So yeah. you're not codependent upon me. Forever. And there's something different about talking to someone one-on-one -on -one versus, you know, we've covered a lot of these topics in our podcast episodes, mm -hmm. but it's so different when you have your own personal struggles and your own personal issues to be able to just really talk it out with somebody who's experienced and has this knowledge to be able to help you. So it's an amazing resource to, you know, get that one-on-one -on -one coaching opportunity with her. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's just a great way that I can help as many people as possible, mm -hmm. hopefully with the videos that, that that could answer a lot of questions, but then also to have a resource if you need some fine-tuning, because sometimes things are going pretty well, and you're like, hey, the videos, I got it, I'm mm -hmm. doing really well, but now this just happened. 
Right. Uh, we somebody got really sick, and we do not know how to navigate these waters. Mm -hmm. um, I might maybe mom's struggling. Like I have severe depression, and I don't like how in the world do I manage right. this and juggle this? Yeah. So it's really it's a really awesome, and I love it that I I'm walked the walk. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. all the times that you go through something and it's challenging and it's difficult, and then you come out the other end. It's just so fun to be able to turn around and say, "Okay, I made it." I like, I, and obviously, yeah, I'm still homeschooling. So but no, like, but you've got to graduate though. almost now. No, it's not so, so you really crazy? have made it. Yeah, so cool. it's a ton of fun. So, yeah, you can send us any questions you have, or just head right on over to CoachMegThomas.com and go get those first 100 spots because they are starting to go. Yes, so it's, it's really worth exciting. It. Thank you guys so much for listening today, and have a wonderful week. All right, see you guys. Bye bye.